I'll go first. The act of cheating in a relationship actually does not exist. It's a facade. Man, when I tell you, she hit so many points on this video. An act of cheating is a facade, and let me explain. She is absolutely correct with every point that she said in that video. A lot of people do not sign a verbal contract spiritually. A lot of people do just jump into relationships and don't ask those questions. Are y'all asking, hey, what does your relationship and your love look like? Are they ready to settle down? Or do they want a relationship where it is strictly monogamous? Are you asking those questions? Because see, in your mind, you're like, okay, you jump into this relationship. And he told you, oh, he's faithful. He's true. He's this. He's that. But did you ever establish if you cheat on me, we're through. If you hurt my heart and use I love you out of context, we are through. If you are not the man that you claim to be, the protector, the provider, the the masculine energy, the strength, the force, the father figure, we are done. If you cannot communicate your issues, your problems, and we can't talk and make it through and you talking at me and becoming a narcissist, we are done. But see, this is what I be actually saying in class when I'm telling women, how does your spouse feel? What does your relationship look like? What does the things that you have to have in your relationship I don't want any negative energy. I don't want a polygamous relationship or a polyandry relationship or anything of that nature. I just want you and you alone. Then you can fuss. But other than that, if that man has not ever told you that and you see that his track record or this woman's track record is being a hoe, being somebody out there in the streets, being a lady of the night, being a man that's been out there in the streets, a gigolo, a, a pimp or whatever the case may be. This is your fault. I keep telling y'all the same thing over and over. And I'm just glad she made this video because it is actually the truth. This is why I ask any man that I'm interested in or want to date, what does your love language look like? What do you want in a relationship? What is your ultimate goal? What makes you extremely happy? Are you into cheating and having multiple women? Because I'm not tolerating that. State your shit from the door. If they can't do it, leave it alone. Duh.